Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson 12. Tonight we are reasoning about the product of a whole number and a decimal with the hundredths using place value understanding and estimation. So a lot of the same week work we've been doing in the last couple of lessons. Let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's lesson. I think I'll do three of those and we'll take a look. Problem number one. Directions are pretty simple. Estimate. We've done that before. Then solve using the standard algorithm. You may draw an area model if it helps you. So let's first estimate. So let's see. We're going to look at our first number, 24. Uh, let's see. The largest place value is the tens. Is this closer to two tens or three tens? And I think it's closer to two tens because it's 24, not 25. So I'm going to say that that's roughly 20. And then let's see. We're going to multiply this. We're going to figure out the estimate, sorry, of this. 2 and 3100. So again, I'm going to see the biggest unit is the ones. Is this closer to two ones or three ones? And I think it's closer to two ones because again, the next place value is just a three. So I'm going to say this is closest to two ones. That tells me that this is close to 20 times two, and I can do that in my head. So our estimate of how big this part, this product will be is about 40. Now I'm noticing something about our estimate, which is that in both cases we rounded down, right? We rounded down from 24 to 20, and we rounded down from 2 and 31 hundredths down to 2. So I know our estimate is too low. It's going to be close to our answer, but I know for sure our answer is going to be higher than this because we rounded down to get our estimate. Let's take a look at the standard algorithm. Standard algorithm is set up for us here on our right. Um, again, 2 and 31 hundredths, we're going to treat this as if it's just 231, and then at the end, we're going to remember to divide our product by 100 to get back to our, uh, our answer. Let's see. So let's start right off. Let's see. 4 1s times 1 1 is 4. Excellent. 4 1s times 3 10s is 12 10s. We record 12 10s like that. 4 1s times 2 hundreds is 8 hundreds, plus one more is 9 hundreds. We'll cross that out. And we've got our first partial product. Let's go ahead and get our second partial product. Let's see, 2 tens times 1 1 is 2 tens, or 20. Then we've got 2 tens times 3 is 6. And finally, 2 times 4, I'm sorry, 2 times 2 is 4. And that gets us our second partial product. Let's go ahead and add up our partial products. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 9 plus 6 is 15, record like that, and 4 plus 1 is 5, so that looks like 5,544, except, wait, that's right, we multiplied, we essentially multiplied this number by 100 just so we could not pay attention to the decimal before we could treat it as 231 rather than 2 and 31 hundredths, so we've got to go ahead and divide by 100 here at the end, we can do that, um, we're going to divide by 100 at the end here simply by moving everything to place values to the right. And that'll give us our answer of 55 and 44 hundredths. And just as we guessed, we got an answer that's in the neighborhood of our uh, estimate, but we definitely got an answer that's higher than our estimate because we had estimated by rounding down previously. So now that we're using the specific numbers, we end up with a number that's a little bit bigger than that. Awesome. 55 and 44 hundredths looks great to me. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two, directions are pretty similar. Estimate, then solve using the standard algorithm. Use a separate sheet to draw the area model if it helps you. Um, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and do this um, for problem 2C. Problem 2C says 32 hundredths plus 41. And so we got to estimate first. Let's see. Well, our biggest place value here is the tenths place. So is this closer to 3 tenths or 4 tenths? Well, that's much closer to 3 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and write our estimate here of 3 tenths. And then in our second number, our largest place value is the tens place. Is this closer to four tens or five tens? Yeah, it's much closer to four tens. It's just one away from four tens. And so that gives us our estimate. Our estimate is three tenths times 40. Well, if we think of this as in unit form, three tenths, three of something times 40 of something would be 120 of something. 120, but it's 120 tenths. So our answer would be... 12, right? 120 tenths is the same as 12. So that's a good estimate, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how uh, we'll see whether we get something with our, our standard algorithm that's similar to that. So I'm going to go ahead and set up our standard algorithm just like usual. So that's 32 hundredths times 41, 
And I'm going to do the same thing we've done in some previous problems, which is I'm just going to treat this like 32, which Im implicitly means we've multiplied it by 100. But then at the end, I'm going to remember to divide by 100 at the end to get our answer. And our estimate will help us to remember that, because when we get to an answer at the end and it's way, 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 way too big, we're going to go, oh, yeah, 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 right. We have to do the division here at the end. So let's go ahead and do our um, partial products. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Excellent, we've got our first one. Let's see, 4 tens times 2 is 8 tens. There's 8 tens. And 4 times 3 is 12. We can go ahead and add up our partial products. If we add our 1s together, 2 plus 0 is 2. We add our 10s together, 3 plus 8 is 11. We record like that. Our 100s, 2 plus 1 is 300. And finally, our 1,000. And then, oh, right. This is way too big a number, right? 1,312 is nothing like 12. But if we do what we remember to do, which is to divide by 100 at the very end, we will take our place value and insert it here, right? That gives us, that's essentially moving every single one of these digits, moving the thousands back to the tens, moving the hundreds back to the ones, moving the tens back to the tenths, moving the twos from the ones to the hundredths. So our answer is 13 and 12 hundredths, very close to our estimate of 12. Awesome. Let's do one of the story problems from tonight's homework as well. We use a read, draw, and write strategy when we do story problems. Let's go ahead and do the reading. Eric's goal is to walk two and 75 hundredths miles to and from the park every day for an entire year. If he meets his goal, how many miles will Eric walk? Oh, I see. So if I draw, let's do a drawing strategy here. So if I think of this as a series of boxes, right, he walks two and seventy-five hundredths miles on the first day, and then two and seventy-five hundredths miles on the second day, and we just think about that all the way out to the last day, two and seventy-five hundredths. I just have to figure out how many days it is, but I already know there's 365 days in a year, so I think, right, this is the 365th day. There's day one, there's day two, all the way out to day number 365. Basically, this is multiplication, right? This is 365 copies of 2 and 75 hundredths. So that's multiplication. I think we can do that. 2 and 75 hundredths times 365 with the standard algorithm. Let's see. So again, I think we're going to use the strategy we've used here in the past, which is we're going to treat this number as if it's 275 by essentially multiplying it by 100. And then at the end, when we get our answer down here somewhere, we're going to remember to divide it by 100 to get to our answer. So let's go ahead and do our standard algorithm. 5 times 5 is 25, like that. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 more is 37. We've used up that 2, there's our 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 more is 13, and we use up that 3. And we've got our first partial product. 5 times this number, 275, is this partial product, 1,375. Let's do our second. 6 times 5 is 30 tens. Let's see, 30 tens we'd write like that. That's a confusing one, right? It's not 3 tens, it's 30 tens. So that's 0 here and a 3 in the hundreds column. Hundreds column. Then let's see, we've got, oops, sorry, we've got 6 times 7 is 42 plus 3 more is 45. So we record our 4 over here. Then 6 times 2 is 12 plus 4 more is 16. And we've used that up. And that's given us our second partial product. 60 times this number is 16,500. Let's do our last partial product. 3 hundreds times 5 would be 15 hundreds. Well, we would write 15 hundreds, the 5 in the hundreds place, and the 1,000 recorded below. Or, I'm sorry, above our partial product. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 more is 22. 22, like that. And 3 times 6, I'm sorry, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. We've used up that one. And now I think we're ready to add our partial products together. We add together our 1s, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. We add together our 10s, 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. We add together our 100s, 3 plus 5 plus 5 is 13. We add together our 1000s, 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1. Let's see, 1 plus 6 is 7. 8, 9, 10, and finally, 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10 more. Used up that, 
we've got our answer. Oh, but wait, oh, that's right. That's not our answer because we've got to remember to divide by 100 at the end of our problem. We divide by 100 by putting our decimal point two more place values further to the left. And we've got our answer 1,003 and 75 hundredths. Now we've got a right portion of our redrawn right strategy that is critical for us, right? Because this is not just an answer of a number. Let's see, what was the question? Of if he meets his goal, how many miles will he walk? Oh, uh, so we would say Eric will walk 1,003 and 75 hundredths miles in a year. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Good luck on your homework tonight. Hope you're feeling more comfortable with standard algorithm and decimals. And we'll talk to you again next time. Take care.